Welcome everybody to Dirt Show. As you may or may not know, I've been doing a lot of live streaming lately and I often get people on there. They join the stream and they go, what is this stream even about? And I say, I'm glad you asked because I don't know. I never know how to describe it. It's basically Naked Gun. So we're going to watch Leslie Nielsen's greatest Naked Gun lines. It's from a channel named Mind Landfill. A Panamanian ship. Frank, when Nordberg said, I love you, he was telling you the name of the ship. I realize that. Now. You want to take a dinghy? No, no, I took care of that at the press conference. Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no, Dutch Irish. My father was from Wales. <laughs> oh. Kind of the arrogance about it. So good. He just, he never knows how confused he is on, on the situation because he's always preoccupied uh, and just. Oh, I love it. So they were able to get him to the hospital oh. in time. Yes, he's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. Her hair was the color of gold in old paintings. She had a full set of curves and the kind of legs you'd like to suck on for a day. She was giving me a look I could feel in my hip pocket. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> oh my God. He doesn't care that he's a creep. Like he's, <laughs> he's really saying, you know, nice uh, female body parts there, but he doesn't care that he's a creep. And then she just happens to bring down the beaver and he's, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, uh, that's what I was talking about. All right, let's keep going. Police work is dangerous. It is. That's why I carry a big gun. Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. And what did you do about it? I just think about baseball. How is your own? <laughs> As she realizes, oh, he's not talking about his gun anymore. Meat. You be the judge of that. I've got nine more. This world is such a violent place. If it wasn't, I'd be out of a job. Same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds... <laughs> Reminiscing that, oh no, if there's no more crime, I don't have a job. <laughs> like, good thing there's enough crime. Boy, boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. The girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. I want you to know <laughs> it. Practice safe sex. So do I. <laughs> oh my God. Can I interest you in a nightcap? No, thank you. I don't wear them. That's my part. Always being confused about what the actual, what they're asking or what's being said in the scene. Policy. Yes. Well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. Trevin. Frank. You're both right. A little meeting that turned into a peekaboo session with bullets all set up by someone who's been playing me like a violin at the annual Saps convention. It's true what they say, cops and women don't mix. It's like eating a spoonful of Drano. Sure, it'll clean you out, but it'll leave you hollow inside. Here, you can take this back. Who's is that? Doesn't matter. Hey, they can't <laughs> kick you off the force, Frank. It's just not fair. I know, Ed. Life isn't always fair. Just think the next time I shoot someone, I could be arrested. Hey, look at that, the missing evidence in the Kellner case. My God, he was innocent. He went to the chair two years ago, Frank. I couldn't believe it was her, it was like a dream. But there she was, just like I remembered her. That delicately beautiful face and a body that could melt a cheese sandwich from across the room and breasts that seem to say, hey, look at these. She was the kind of woman that made you want to drop to your knees and thank God you are a man. Yeah. 
She reminded me of my mother, all right, no doubt about it. Who's obsessed? Just because you backed out on the wedding two years ago, I'd forgotten all about it. This ancient history, like the Democratic Party. Frank. He was in tears, in church, crying like a baby. Uh, Frank, get a hold of yourself. I had to return 13 Cuisinarts. That's enough, Frank, really. I kept the salad shooter, though. Uh, He's Caucasian. Caucasian? Yeah, you know, a white guy. With a mustache, about six foot three. An awfully big mustache. <laughs> Lieutenant Frank Driven, police squad. <laughs> You know what's funny? I'm 6'3 with a mustache right now. I had the mustache and then the grew, the beard grew back, but I am 6'3 with a mustache. My mustache is not 6'3, unfortunately. <laughs> Pretty big for mustache. This is my Captain Ed Hawken. Is this some kind of bust? Well, it's very impressive, yes, but we need to ask you a few questions. Do you realize that because of you, this city is being overrun by baboons? Well, isn't that the fault of the voters? Uh, I don't recall seeing your name on the guest list. Nothing to be embarrassed about. I sometimes go by my maiden name. A nice party, Hasbro. See a lot of familiar facelifts. Do you gamble, Lieutenant? Every time I order out. I'd like you to consider filling a special post I'm going to create. It may mean long hours, dangerous <laughs> nights and being surrounded by some of the scummiest elements. So that's supposed to be George Bush Sr. Um, I really wish they would have had Dana Carvey do it. That would have been so great. I don't know if Dana Carvey was doing his impression at this time when this came out. I, I believe he was, um, but yeah. Anyway. In our society. You want me to be in your cabinet? No, no. I guess love is like the ozone layer. You never miss it until it's gone. You're blowing away a fleeing suspect with my 44 Magnum used to be everything to me. I enjoyed it. Well, who wouldn't? What a world where Frank Jr. and all the Frank Juniors can sit under a shade tree, breathe the air, swim in the ocean, and go into a 7-Eleven without an interpreter. I want a world where I can eat a sea otter without getting sick. I want a world where the Democrats will put somebody up there worth voting for. <laughs> well, maybe it's your fault. Have you tried Don't sexy we all? lingerie, some lacy underwear, or a black teddy? I've tried wearing them all. They don't work. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you want... <laughs> I've tried wearing them all. They don't work. He wasn't talking to you. He's not talking to you. I want to have a child. Didn't I try to adopt that 18-year-old Korean girl? <laughs> Just be Jane and Frank lovers. We haven't had a night like that in a, in a long time. Not together. Frank. <laughs> Having a baby is a big responsibility. It's like being in charge of sanitation at a Haitian jail. I'm just frightened. Frank. Besides, you haven't shot anybody in six months. That's true. Funny how you miss the little things. Might be good to feel that cold, hard steel pressed against my thigh once again. The thrill of the chase, to be a man. You might end up dead. You might end up dead is my middle name. What about Jay? I don't know her middle name. Faster than you can say spread him. I was inside the cold, gray walls of Statesville Prison. I was surrounded by pimps, rapists, and murderers. It was like being in the stands at a Los Angeles Raiders game. Uh, the funny thing about that scene, I always think about that. Why, are, why would prisons be so, like... I mean, I guess I know that a lot of people in there are mentally ill and stuff, but why, why shouldn't they, they should make it more of a, a fun house, you know, have some swings and stuff like that, play around. It's perfect. You're chirping awfully loud for New Canary. Keep flashing the big eyes, now personally balance and rotate your jaw. Mm. Hey! You know who you're talking to? The man is Rocco Dillon. Where's your prison number? It's unlisted. This place here changes a man. Oh, yeah, in what way? I used to be white. I was a drummer for the Osmonds. Screw with me. He'll make you feel pain like you never felt before. I know, I remember the Osmonds. Like a blind man <laughs> at an orgy, I was going to have to feel things out. I convinced Rocco to dig a tunnel. It was either that or go out in a laundry truck. But the thought of lying in a pile of underwear, nose down, and skid marks 
Just didn't leave a good taste in my mouth. I had a feeling she didn't care for me coming along. <laughs> Nose down in those skid marks. Like a midget at a urinal, I was going to have to stay on my toes. No phone and mild from civilization. My prospects look bleaker than a gerbil's in a bathhouse. Slasher, have you seen my pigeon? <clears throat> pigeon? What pigeon? I could have two lovers. Kinky, but I like my sex the way I play basketball. One on one and with as little dribbling as possible. <laughs> now we all know that women make the best hostages. They're smaller, easy to take along, eat less, smell nice. You'll never get away with this. Rocco's gonna kill you, whoever you are. Frank Drebin, police squad. Frank, isn't that a little unusual? Not really, it's happened to me a couple of times. Now here's the plan. Plan? You'll never stop, Rocco. Your chances are one in a million. That's still better than any state lottery. I love you. Wrong answer. I dropped out of the <laughs> sap of the month club a long time ago. Now listen to me, angel drawers. You... As long as it's better than a state lottery, I'm doing it. Got one last chance. And I don't mean one of those Major League Baseball Steve Howe kind of last chances. Now where is Jane? There you have it, folks. You have witnessed some of the greatest moments in Naked Gun history. Uh, Leslie Nielsen. Check him out. Check out some other videos. Check out my live streams. I try to live stream um, most days at like 9 p.m. And we kind of chill, whatever mood we're kind of in, whatever mood chat's in, um, you know, we'll, we'll manufacture some drama, pretend to be uh, upset about certain things that the trolls say, but check it out and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself, your community and your world.